Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Phil. Welcome to Phil's Computer Lab. Today we're checking out a new programmer I purchased myself. It is the TL866CS, this little gadget. I used to have a device from Genius and for more modern flash chips the Genius worked fine, but as soon as you programmed EEPROM chips from older devices like SCSI controllers or older motherboards, the Genius couldn't do it. This device can. The main difference is if you look at one of these older uh, EEPROM chips, they require quite a high voltage to write, like 12 or 12.7 volts or something like that, and the Genius couldn't do that, but this device can. So this is now my favorite device for flashing BIOS chips. I paid 77 Australian dollars shipped, so it's a little bit more expensive than the Genius, but not much and definitely worth spending that little bit extra. Um, the package I went for came with five adapters for various chips, also a USB cord, which I've got uh, plugged into the computer, and also one of these chip extraction tools. The motherboard we're working with today is actually a real classic. It's from ABIT. It's the ABBH6. It's a bit of a legendary slot one motherboard with the 440BX chipset. This is a donation from Darren. So Darren, if you're watching this video, thank you so much. He uh, put a, a bunch of computer parts in, into a big box and shipped it to me, so that's awesome. I'm going to use this motherboard going forward um, with the next few videos, so uh, flashing the bars and having the latest version is definitely important to me. Let's turn the machine on and we're going to have a look at the BIOS post screen to give us a clue of what the existing BIOS version of the machine is. There you go. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, just underneath the press F1 to continue, press delete to enter setup, um, there's a long string of text and right at the end it says NV, that is our BIOS version. This is the website where you can download the updated BIOS versions and if we look for NV we can find it over here and the latest one is this one here, double S. So we're going to download this BIOS file and that's the one that we want to flash. After we've extracted the BIOS chip with the extraction tool, we need to identify the BIOS chip. So the maker here is Winbond and the model is W29CO20. And sometimes there's a sticker on top of that BIOS chip and you just have to peel it off in order to find out what chip it is. Okay, so this is what the software looks like that comes with the programmer. I'll put a download link in the description so you can get the latest version. It is compatible with Windows 10 64-bit, so that's pretty nice. So after you launch the software, you click on this button here, and this is where you select what chip you have. So you select that you're using Flash, you select the maker, which is Winbond, and then we got to find the uh, chip number. So there was a W29 and then C20, there's one here but it's actually this one here with the PLCC. Press select, click on information and we get a picture of the adapter. So that's the adapter we need to use and also how to orient. On the programmer is also a little picture that shows you where pin one is, but double check with the picture on the computer. So in our case, uh, here we've got the adapter with the chip in it. We need to orient pin one to be up here. So we basically just place it place it like this, so pin 1 is over here, and then we just secure the chip and we are ready to go. Now we're ready to program the chip, so we cross it off, click on the file open button, we load our BIOS file, press OK, and then we just press the program button and say program. There you go, that's all good to go. We can cl click on cancel, close the software. Okay, now it's time to find out if the flash went successfully. There you go. At the bottom now we can see double S, so that's how you flash a motherboard bias. 
There you go, another happy customer. So in terms of flashing your bias on these older motherboards, I highly recommend that you get yourself a programmer. Uh, on, the, on the older boards, pretty much they're always uh, removable. It's only on some of the newer ones where they started changing that and then um, the chips are actually soldered onto the motherboard, which is a pain in the neck. Um, but the other benefit is that this is safer. If, if something goes wrong, you can just uh, reflash it even if the computer doesn't turn on anymore. You can't do that if you're flashing through the uh, DOS or Windows. The other issue with, fla with flashing through DOS is that trying to find the right version of the flash software can sometimes be quite uh, frustrating. So uh, look, 80 Australian dollars, that is not a, mo not a lot of money and definitely a good investment. Any questions and feedback, leave them down below and I'll see you soon in another video.